the spirit of West Tennessee is out. Fill out the entry form inside and mail it to WBBJ 346 Mew Street, Jackson, Tennessee 38301. Keep your paper to claim your prize. Beginning April 29th, a nightly winner will be announced during New Center 7 6 o'clock report. Your number may be drawn. This week, we'll give away a one-month fitness package valued at $150 from Thin and Trim USA. Send your entry today because you want to win. From the spirit of West Tennessee, WBBJ TV. Here are the facts. This year, more Americans are watching Nightline with Ted Koppel. Would this march have happened without Louis Farrakhan? More than any other late-night television program. Why? Because it's the only late-night program worth talking about in the morning. Does Mr. Olson have a capacity to speak in his own behalf, or do you have to speak for him? Nightline with Ted Koppel. Mr. Cochran, let's talk about those gloves for a minute. Is there life outside our solar system? The number one late-night program, weeknights here on ABC. Coming up at 10 on Night Beat, a West Tennessee industry has been sold, and Deanne Perkins brings you tonight's good news. Join me, Brad Douglas, for the latest in local news. Gary Pickens will be here with WBBJ's exclusive AccuWeather forecast, and Jim Holder will have all the latest sports scores for you, bringing you local news that matters to you. We're WBBJ, West Tennessee's news source. Hi, I'm Gary Pickens. We've had a great response from people in Bells, Decatur, well, and all over West Tennessee who want to be weather watchers. But I want to hear from you. Just send your name, address, and telephone number to Weather Watchers WBBJ TV, 346 Mew Street, Jackson, Tennessee, 38301. Now, time is running out. We'll be making our selection soon, so send in your name today. If you're away from your TV set, you don't have to miss WBBJ 6 o'clock news. WFHC 91.5 FM in Henderson broadcast News Center 7 every Monday through Friday at 6 o'clock. Stay in touch with WBBJ. Dial star 77 on your cellular phone. Contact us by email at wbbjtv7 at usit.net. Call 901-424-4515 or write to WBBJ News, 346 Mew Street, Jackson, Tennessee, 38301. Help keep us informed so we can keep you informed at WBBJ TV, West Tennessee's news source. Coming up tonight on Night Beat. Good evening, I'm Brad Douglas. Coming up tonight at 10 p.m., Jackson hosts the West Tennessee Addy Awards, recognizing West Tennessee's best advertisers. We'll take you there. Also, we'll take you to a fundraiser for Birth Choice. West Tennessee industry has been sold. We'll give you details on that. And in tonight's Good News segment, Deanne Perkins will introduce us to Tennessee's Outstanding Home Care Patient of the Year. We'll update you on a man who was arrested in connection with a Hardin County murder. And Jim Holder will have all the highlights of high school baseball and soccer. Gary Pickens will have your exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Join us tonight at 10 for Night Beat. It makes you think. What do they do for toilet paper in the Civil War? It makes you fashionable. Kramer, how am I going to wear this? It expands your vocabulary. Nova? Uh, Dipple? It answers mankind's greatest mystery. Osmo! So you know what I mean now, huh? The cat has out of that. It's the show that makes you feel so good. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And it's on six times a week for Seinfeld. Weeknights at 11.05 on WBBJ TV 7. Good evening, I'm Brad Douglas. Coming up tonight at 10 p.m., Jackson hosts the West Tennessee Addy Awards, recognizing West Tennessee's best advertisers. Jim Holder will have local high school baseball and soccer. Gary Pickens will have the forecast. You'll want to join us at 10. You just might need these this weekend. Details coming up. You just might need one of these this weekend. Details coming up at 10. WBBJ, TV7, Jackson. Something wild is happening all week on Live with Regis and Kathy Lee. First, he's huge, he's purple, he's Barney the Dinosaur. See why all the kids love him. Then he's big, he's bad, he's the world wrestling champ. See why they call him the Heartbreak Kid. Later in the week, Spin City star Michael J. Fox, Tony Bennett, Linda Gray, Mary Lou Henner, and bold and beautiful Ian Buchanan on Live with Regis and Kathy Lee. Coming up 
Not on the news center. Jackson police are investigating a one-vehicle accident that took place in the city this afternoon. It has resulted in two women being sent to an area hospital and another being airlifted to the Med in Memphis. The American Heart Association held its annual walk in Jackson today, and a group of law enforcement officials, community activists, and teenagers joined together for this weekend's Teen Summit. Join us for these stories and more, plus Gary Pickens will have your exclusive AccuWeather forecast for tonight and the week ahead, and Eric Waddell will have a complete look at weekend sports. That's coming up, up tonight from the News Center right after the movie. We are proud to be your hometown team. Jackson police are investigating two separate traffic accidents that took place over the weekend right here in the Hub City, resulting in one fatality and one teenager fighting for her life at the Med in Memphis at this hour. We'll have this story plus more regional and national news. Gary Pickens will have the exclusive AccuWeather forecast for tonight and the week ahead, and Eric Waddell will have the complete sports report coming up next from the News Center. Tonight's low temperatures in the 20s, the forecast after the movie. We'll check out your extended forecast tonight following the Sunday night movie. Highlights from the National Football League tonight after the movie. Glad to be your hometown team. We're WBBJ ABC7. Good evening, I'm Pamela Marshall. Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 10, officials say minorities are underrepresented in the Jackson Madison County school system on the teaching staff. Now they're trying to do something about it. We'll have that story. Plus, we'll tell you about another class action lawsuit facing the Jackson Madison County School Board. Sky Arnold will have the story. Gary Pickens will have your weather forecast and Jim Holder will have sports. Join us for 7 Eyewitness News at 10. When you go to work in the morning, don't forget the umbrella. I'll have the reason at 10. All your NFL action in the highlights tonight at 10. Cents. Could the Oilers grease the Steelers? We'll tell you tonight at 10. The forecast for your work week tonight at 10. The West Tennessee forecast affecting you tonight at 10. Night. Okay, ready? One zip, my point. Two zip, my point. Yes. Three zip. There is a better way to have fun with history. Visit americaslibrary.gov. Log on, play around, learn something. Five zip. Your serve. To me, local news means exactly that, local news. And I think it's important that we cover local news for our viewers that do watch Channel 7. They depend on WBBJ. And as producer and uh, anchor of Good Morning West Tennessee, I, that's my goal, is to try to keep the news as local as possible so our viewers can stay informed. To me, local news is like a, a community news segment. It's being able to talk about your neighbors, people you know in the community, giving them something that they can't get on any other station. If you have comments, write them to WBBJ ABC 7 Comments, 346 Mew Street, Jackson, 38301. Help us serve you better on WBBJ ABC 7. If you haven't been watching live, just look at who you've missed. For the biggest stars in the world. Stick with us. It's about making plans. What do you say if neither of us is married in 10 years, we get hitched? Let's make it 50. Being honest. You faked with me? Yeah. What about the breathing, the panting, the moaning, the screaming? Fake, 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 fake. And caring for others. He's a little understanding. He's a little grim. Then she'll need a little shot of penicillin. It's about love, Seinfeld style, all this week.
I taught Polly all about the finer things in life. A child, Polly, should be the product of the natural, organic love between two committed people. Now, please, can we watch the porno channel? <laughs> He's still learning. Paul's having a bad day. <laughs> now I can't reach it. First, he gets locked in. It's suffocating. You don't have a hanger or something? We have a coat rack. Then, Murray gets locked up. They're towing Murray. And they're both in the doghouse. I'm sorry. <laughs> On the next Mad About You. WBBJ ABC7 wants you to take time to speak with your kids about drugs. Start now because silence is acceptance. If you have story ideas or comments, write to us at 346 Mew Street, Jackson, 38301. Call us at 901-424-4515 or email us at 7news at wbbjtv.com. Keep in touch with your hometown station, WBBJ, ABC7. You'll enjoy the sun and the exclusive AccuWeather forecast at 10. If you don't speak to your kids about drugs, who will? For more information, call 1-800-ABC-D-DAY. 7 Eyewitness News updated you every day with the latest basketball action during the NAIA tournament. Plus, your hometown sports team brought you live NAIA championship action from Jackson's Omen Arena. When you want the latest scores and action, turn to West Tennessee's hometown television, home of 7 Eyewitness News. Plenty of sunshine in tonight's exclusive AccuWeather forecast at 10. Coming up tonight at 10 on 7 Eyewitness News, we'll have the latest developments in the Oklahoma City bombing story as Timothy McVeigh's trial gets underway in that case. And we'll have highlights of the women's NCAA championship between the Lady Vols and Old Dominion. Plus, when it comes to children and drugs, families are learning to fight back. We'll have that report. Plus, we'll have a complete look at your exclusive AccuWeather forecast and sports report tonight at 10. Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 10, some good news for now for some Tennessee state prison workers expecting to be laid off. We'll have that story. Plus, jury selection is underway in the Timothy McVeigh, Oklahoma City bombing trial. We'll have the latest. And a Dyersburg former judge could be headed back to prison. We'll tell you about a ruling today in the David Lanier case. We'll also have weather and sports. For West Tennessee News, weather and sports affecting you, join us at 10. Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 10, some good news for now for some Tennessee state prison workers expecting to be laid off. We'll have that story. Plus, jury selection is underway in the Timothy McVeigh, Oklahoma City bombing trial. We'll have the latest. And a Dyersburg former judge could be headed back to prison. We'll tell you about a ruling today in the David Lanier case. We'll also have weather and sports. For West Tennessee News, weather and sports affecting you, join us at 10. Good evening, I'm Pamela Marshall. Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 10, jury selection is underway in the Timothy McVeigh, Oklahoma City bombing trial. We'll have the latest. And a Dyersburg former judge could be headed back to prison. We'll tell you about a ruling today in the David Lanier case. Also, some Tennessee prison workers may be able to hold on to their jobs a little longer. We'll have that story. Nancy Lubinsky will be in with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast to tell us what we can expect as we head into the work week. Jim Holder will have all the local and national sports. Join us at 10. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC 7, Jackson. Good evening, I'm Pamela Marshall. Coming up next on 7 Eyewitness News, some Tennessee prison workers may be able to hold on to their jobs a little longer. We'll have that story for you, plus we'll have all the weather and sports. Join us next. Skies are clearing in tonight's exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Stay tuned for my exclusive AccuWeather forecast tonight at 10. WBBJ ABC7 wants to remind you that silence is acceptance. Talk to your kids about drugs before it's too late. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC7, Jackson. A beautiful day to start April in tonight's 10 o'clock forecast. Stay tuned for the West Tennessee AccuWeather forecast tonight at 10. 
Pick up your free booklet on how to raise your child drug-free at Jim Adams IGA on Carriage House Drive. March Against Drugs with WBBJ ABC7. Coming up next on 7 Eyewitness News at 10, day one ends in... Hey. It was a great day for women's basketball in Martin today. We'll tell you about it tonight at 10. Now, back to the wonderful world of Disney. A look at your Thanksgiving Day forecast tonight at 10 o'clock. Can we expect warmer weather tomorrow? I'll answer that question at 10. Your exclusive AccuWeather forecast tonight at 10. Good evening, I'm Kelly McAllister. Can you spell Tribology? This weekly county eighth grader can, and that's why she's representing the Mid-South this summer in the National Spelling Bee. Sky Arnold talks with this young spelling ace. His report tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 10. To know what is to come, you must know what has been. Something weird is going on here, Sally. Every weekend, relive the beginning. This is amazing. You can feel it. If you could do it all over again, wouldn't you? Saturday nights on WBBJ, ABC 7. Tune in to us this weekend, right here, for the suspense. For the humor. Excuse me. For all the action. Because I wouldn't mind seeing a few more honest faces. Sunday nights on WBBJ, ABC 7. Here's a look at what's happening in your hometown. If your organization would like to be included in this calendar, send your event two weeks in advance to the address on your screen or fax it to... Good evening, I'm Kelly McAllister. Tonight at 10, rains are hampering today's tornado cleanups through the hardest hit areas of the state. We'll tell you more. Plus, in tonight's look at your health, we'll show you a new procedure that's said to blow the heat out of heartburn. And this evening's West 10 Diamond Jacks game was suspended due to rain. We have their updated schedule for tomorrow. Derek Francis will have the rest of your day's sports, including the latest from today's NFL draft. And Mark Wiedehunt Hunt has your exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Join us tonight at 10. Nightline? anyone. Years ago when it was the uh, the hostages, I think that was when Nightline first came on and ever since then I've been watching it. Sometimes he makes people squirm in their seats and that's good. Nightline. Capo. Ask anyone. Now enjoy the view in Jackson, Humboldt, Milan, Fenton and Savannah on West Tennessee 7 WBBJ weekdays at the Regis and Kathy Lee. Weekdays at 10 on WBBJ ABC 7. Bolivar's hometown television station. On an all-new Baywatch. A near fatal accident. If you hadn't come along, I'd not be dead for sure. Leaves Mitch with a new nanny. The leaving kids met Mitch. We belong together. But her first day on the job. A nanny. She broke into the house and took Ashley. Might be Mitch's last. <laughs> On an all-new Baywatch. Saturday nights on WBBJ, ABC 7. The West 10 Diamond Jack, South South Mobility, and West Tennessee 7 have teamed up to help the United Way with the Win with the Diamond Jacks program. Your pledge of 77 cents for every Diamond Jacks win will be donated to the United Way at the end of the season. The first 600 people to pledge will receive a free portable cell phone from Bell South Mobility. Kids can help their community too. For every win, your pledge of 7 cents will go to the United Way and you'll receive a special Diamond Jack souvenir. Win with the Diamond Jacks and support the United Way. Seven, 
by Witness Court. On the next Pensacola Wings of Gold. Charlie and Bobby declared an emergency and are coming in hot. Check the hell out of there. After a life-threatening accident. We have to operate. Lieutenant Bobby Griffin may lose his wings. Let me alone! Damn it, I hate him. I'm fine. There's something wrong with you, man. You're damaged. I am medically unfit for flight duty at this time. James Brolin stars in Pensacola Wings of Gold. Look at what's happening in your hometown. If your organization would like to be included in this calendar, send your event two weeks in advance to the address on your screen or fax us at 901-423-8016. Seven Eyewitness News. Stories affecting you. All parents want the best education for their children. Reading, writing, math, science, and character. Some schools are beginning courses in moral education, teaching children the four R's. Reading, writing, arithmetic, and respect. Should schools be involved in the character education of your child? Watch Seven Eyewitness News at 6 starting Monday for a special five-part series. Kids and Character. Seven Eyewitness News. Stories affecting you and your hometown. On an all-new Baywatch. A near fatal accident. If he hadn't come along, I'd not be dead for sure. Leaves Mitch with a new nanny. I believe in kids, Net Mitch. We belong together. But her first day on the job. A nanny. She broke into the house and took Ashley. Might be Mitch's last. Dad! You can't take my baby! On an all-new Baywatch. Saturday nights on WBDJ, ABC. McAllister. Tonight on 7 Eyewitness News, hundreds of Americans place shoes outside the country's leading gun manufacturers, symbolizing the number of people killed by gun violence. We'll tell you more about this silent march. Plus, the fight against osteoporosis is stepping up. We'll explain how one organization is battling the bone weakening disease. And festival time has come to West Tennessee. The 61st annual Strawberry Festival kicks off this evening. We'll take you to the opening ceremony. Derek Francis has your day's sports, and Marquita Hunt, your exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Join your hometown team tonight at 10. Good evening, I'm Kelly McAllister. The 61st Annual West Tennessee Strawberry Festival kicks off this evening in the city of Humboldt. We'll take you to opening ceremonies and preview the week of pageantry. Join your hometown team at 10. We'll make sure you don't miss a single event. Derek Francis, 7 Eyewitness Sports Weekend. Brad Douglas, 7 Eyewitness News at 5 and 10. Humboldt's hometown television station. 7. Trenton's hometown television station. Dyersburg's hometown television station. Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News tonight at 10, we'll have the highlights of the Women's NCAA Championship between the Lady Vols and Old Dominion. And we'll have the latest developments in the Oklahoma City bombing story as Timothy McVeigh's trial is scheduled to begin tomorrow in that case. Plus, when it comes to children and drugs, families are learning to fight back. We'll have that story for you. And we'll have the exclusive AccuWeather forecast for the remainder of the weekend and the week ahead. And your complete weekend sports report coming up tonight at 10. We'll have a complete look at your local, regional, and national news, plus the exclusive AccuWeather forecast for the week ahead and your complete weekend sports report coming up tonight at 10 on 7 Eyewitness News. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC 7, Jackson. Good evening, I'm Denise Strelzik. Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 10, college athletes and academics. We'll take a look at how athletes fare when it comes to how many actually graduate. And as the impeachment hearings continue in Congress, public opinion mounts toward censure. 
We'll take a look. Also, new evidence that there may be a link between how your baby sleeps and his or her development. We'll tell you what some doctors are saying. Join us for these stories, plus weather and sports, and much more on 7 Eyewitness News at 10. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC 7, Jackson. Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News, college athletes and graduation. How many who excel at sports make it to pomp and circumstance? We'll have this story, plus weather and sports and much more on 7 Eyewitness News at 10. Still some very heavy rain that stretches all the way down into Mississippi. We're going to continue to see this. We got fuel for the other side. Looks like it's going to happen. Inevitable. Especially across northern Mississippi. portions of the mid-south, as you can see, of the southern half of West Tennessee and to what's heading up right now in Mississippi. Weather information. Brad Douglas on 7 Eyewitness News at 10. They're on the streets of Jackson every day, risking their lives for you and me. So why do law enforcement officials choose their sometimes dangerous professions? It's a question we take a look at in the final installment of Jackson Cops. Brad, tonight in sports, we're going to have high school basketball action. Region playoff is continuing. Teams trying to make that run to Murfreesboro. Gary? Well, we've got a spring-like day today, and tomorrow we may have another. The forecast comes your way tonight at 10 o'clock. Join us for these stories and more news coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 10. Why do law enforcement officials choose their sometimes dangerous professions? It's a question we take a look at in the final installment of Jackson Cops. Eric Waddell will be here with Ragin' Playoff Action for high school basketball. And Gary Pickens will take a look at your AccuWeather forecast in minutes. WBBJ wants to help celebrate your baby's birthday. Just send in a photo of your one or two year old with their birth date and we'll show the picture during Good Morning West Tennessee. On their birthday, send non-returnable photos two weeks in advance to birthday babies. WBBJ TV, 346 Mew Street, Jackson, Tennessee, 38301. Please include your name, your child's name, address, age, and a list of their favorite things. That's birthday babies only on Good Morning West Tennessee. Have you sent in your entry for Anita's Travel Station and WBBJ's Great Escape Giveaway? Just send in a postcard with your name, address, phone number, and age to the address on your screen. If you have sent one in, be sure to watch 7 Eyewitness News at 10 tonight and every night to see if your name is picked as a qualifier to win the Great Escape Grand Prize to sunny Cancun, Mexico. The trip will be given away Monday, February 28th on 7 Eyewitness News at 10. The Great Escape Giveaway brought to you by WBBJ and Anita's Travel Station. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC 7, Jackson. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC 7, Jackson. News, weather, and sports tomorrow on Good Morning West Tennessee. News, weather, and sports tomorrow on Good Morning West Tennessee. The weather's getting warmer, the leaves are coming out, and the grass is getting greener. It's time to hit the links. Tonight, Noah Glasgow will look at the seven best public golf courses in West Tennessee. Which one is the toughest to play? Who has the best greens? And who has the best rates? Find out with Noah Glasgow's special series, Seven Best Public Golf Courses in West Tennessee. Tonight, only on 7 Eyewitness News at 10. Warmer weather's in our forecast. We'll have details coming up at 10 o'clock. I think some of the stories I like to cover the most are the ones that involve people. I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, we don't do news stories, per se, about uh, everything that uh, doesn't directly do with people, but everything that we do has to do with the people. I think one of the things that I want to do more of is, is uh, more stories uh, that can really make an impact on the people here in West Tennessee. 
I like to cover stories that um, change people's lives, stories that make an impact that people will say, oh my goodness, I didn't know about this. And because of your story, I'm able to um, learn that there, there are other opportunities out there for me that I wasn't aware of before. The most important thing that I do as a reporter is being a people person, enjoying uh, meeting different people and listening to them. The Arbor Day Foundation invites you to vote for America's National Tree online at arborday.org. America has the grandest trees on earth, the largest, the oldest, and we think the most beautiful. The Arbor Day Foundation is now making it possible for everyone to vote for a national symbol, America's National Tree. Go online at arborday.org and vote today. If you are a Tennessee Volunteer football fan, then you won't want to miss a special evening with head coach Philip Fulmer on Thursday, March 8th. Hear the story of how he led the Vols to the national title in 1998 and how he plans to take them back to the glory land. Philip Fulmer is more than just a football coach. He is also very active in the community. This event is a benefit for Freed Hardeman University, so call them today for ticket information. Sponsored by 7 Eyewitness News. time is gonna come your time is gonna come it's up to you to reach out to be that friend who comes along your day is gonna come when you make a friend you make a difference your day is gonna come friendship pass it on a message from the foundation for a better life one thing I like about local news is the people, and there are a lot of people in West Tennessee with very unique and interesting stories, and that's what I like to do is go out and find those stories and then report them. To me, local weather is the most important facet of our weather forecast. It's what impacts our viewers. It allows the parents to know what to put on their kids in the morning and what road conditions are going to be like as they head out the door. Can the Northside Lady Indians continue their run toward the top? We'll have the highlights at 10. Could cat skins be doing more harm than good? Details at 10. Got warmer temperatures in your forecast. Join me at 10. Can the Northside Lady Indians continue their run toward the top? We'll have the highlights at 10. Ford, Lincoln, Mercury. The very best cars in the world are right here at Golden Circle Ford, Lincoln, Mercury. Like the all-new Explorer with discounts up to $2,500. Golden Circle Ford, Lincoln, Mercury on both sides of the bypass in Jackson. could be the most important photo ever made of your child. I'm Gary Pickens at WBBJ-TV, Golden Circle Ford Lincoln Mercury and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. We invite you to have your child's picture made at Golden Circle Ford Monday, May 28th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's free and you need to do it. This Kids Care ID kit and a set of fingerprints can help ensure your child's safety. Enjoy free food, clowns, balloons, and face painting. Monday, May 28th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Golden Circle Ford Lincoln Mercury. And remember, smile for the camera. My favorite letters from you. Awesome! Woo! A viewer's triumph inspired by one of our producers, 95 pound weight loss. Lisa, come on out here. <laughs> A miracle dog was able to find this woman's cancer. That is so amazing. True stories, your stories. Give me a tissue. Y'all send me the best letters. Next over. Oprah, weekdays at four, followed by Eyewitness News. On the next live, the stars come out to play with Regis and Kelly. Don't miss sexy Antonio Banderas. Her heart is beating. I can hear it from here. Then from Bridget Jones' diary, Renee Zellweger and Renee's red-hot co-star, Hugh Grant. Should I bring my dueling pistols or my sword? Plus, from the box office smash, The Mummy Returns. Can't get rid of those mummy guys. It's Brendan Fraser, then Julianne Moore, and Chris Rock. They're all on live with Regis and Kelly. 
Thanks for watching. Good morning, West Tennessee, right here on WBBJ. Newly discovered video sheds light on Pearl Harbor. Details at 10. Can the Sixers win without the answer? Find out in sports. The rest of your Memorial Day weekend forecast tonight at 10. doesn't just affect women. This year, over 40,000 women will die. The Breast Cancer Research Foundation has given over $20 million in research grants. Please, help us make a difference. Call now, 1-866-FIND-A-CURE. Big Sister today. In you. Thinking about trading for a new vehicle? You auto buy now. There's never been a better time to own a new car, truck, van, or SUV. So you auto buy now. Interest rates may be more desirable than ever before. Inventories are up and selection is great, which means the make and model you want is most likely right on the lot. Manufacturers are offering the largest rebates ever. Your trade-in may never be worth more. New technology makes today's vehicles more efficient than ever. See any one of your local West Tennessee auto dealers today. Hi, I'm Pamela Marshall. I hope you'll join me for Methodist Lebonner's series, The Best of Health. After all, what's more important than your health? Thanks for watching Eyewitness News. Thanks for watching Eyewitness News. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC 7, Jackson. Look at this week's McCoy's Heating and Air Community Calendar. If you'd like your event on the McCoy's Heating and Air Community Calendar, send it two weeks in advance to the address on your screen leadership that affects your life, decisions that will determine the future of our community, schools, and safety. The Jackson Mayoral Race. Live coverage from the team you trust. Tom Britt, Brad Douglas, and the entire Eyewitness News team. Experienced professionals. Join us Tuesday night at 8 for a half-hour live special with expert analysis from political correspondents. When it comes to important issues, turn to West Tennessee's news channel. 7 Eyewitness News. Election 2003, Tuesday night at 8. Throughout the state of Tennessee, 7 Eyewitness News at 6, the highest rated news program in its time period. 7 Eyewitness News at 10, the highest rated news program in the state of Tennessee, period. To save mankind, you don't need a hero. You need him. Let's go! Richard Dean Anderson stars in Stargate SG-1. Saturday nights at 11 on ABC7. Excuse me. I can't seem to find these anywhere. Huh. These books are no longer available. I didn't know. May I have your name, please? Why? Excuse me. Just what did I do? We just have a couple of questions. Easy, easy. Yeah. easy.
For your seven-day extended forecast, watch 7 Eyewitness News. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC 7, Jackson. WBBJ presents Job Spot, your link to a new career in the West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Southwest Kentucky area. The Regional Hospital of Jackson is seeking a part-time clinical dietitian. Responsibilities include in and outpatient medical nutrition therapy. Candidates must be a registered dietitian with the Commission on Dietetic Registration and a member of the American Dietetic Association. Candidates must also have current licensure with the Tennessee Board of Dietitian Nutrition Examiners. Previous experience is preferred. Please email resumes to Donna Butler at CHS.net or fax them to 661-2484. For more information, go to WBBJTV.com and click Job Spot. Here's a look at this week's McCoy's Heating and Air Community Calendar. If you'd like your event on the McCoy's Heating and Air Community Calendar, send it two weeks in advance to the address on your screen. Good evening, I'm Brad Douglas. Tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 10, three Crockett County inmates are in custody after escaping from the county jail. We'll have more on their capture later tonight at 10 o'clock. Looks like a good day in store for us tomorrow with temperatures getting up into the 70s. Lots of sunshine in store for us as well. We'll look at the forecast tonight at 10. Plenty of Major League Baseball action got underway today. Bart Barker will have that, plus the rest of tonight's sports action for you. Be sure to join us for these stories and more news coming your way in about half an hour here on 7 Eyewitness News at 10. WBBJ presents Job Spot, your link to a new career in the West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and Southwest Kentucky area. We've got more of what you're looking for. Exceptional care, compassion, family, growth, and community. We offer you unlimited ways to touch people's lives quality work and quality care right here at the Regional Hospital of Jackson. We are currently seeking full-time RNs to work nights in the med surge unit and pediatrics. We offer a bedside differential for nights and weekends, but that's not all. At Regional Hospital of Jackson, you'll be paid overtime on your differential. Three to five thousand dollar sign-on bonuses and school loan repayment assistance are also available for qualified positions. The Regional Hospital of Jackson is an equal opportunity employer and offers a positive work environment and a comprehensive benefits package. Qualified candidates are invited to apply by emailing resumes to Donna Butler at CHS.net or back to them at 731-661-2484. Quality work and quality care right here at the Regional Hospital of Jackson. For more information on these or other positions, go to WBBJTV.com and click Job Spot. Hi, I'm Craig Christina, pastor of First Baptist Church in Jackson. Join us on WBBJ Sunday mornings at 11 o'clock where we can worship the Lord together. A look at the forecast for Tuesday tonight at 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC 7, Jackson. This could be your lucky day. It's a tool we all use, and chances are you have one in your home, a computer. But did you know this device can be a threat to your child? Who are your kids talking to on the other side? Do you know who's talking to them? 7 Eyewitness News will show you the dangers your child is exposed to with Internet predators online. I'm Daniel Miller. Don't miss my special reports, Internet Predators, Mondays this month on 7 Eyewitness News, West Tennessee's news leader. Here's a look at this week's McCoy's Heating and Air Community Calendar. on the McCoy's Heating and Air Community Calendar. Send the information two weeks in advance to the address on your screen. When it comes to local news, you'll see it first on 7 Eyewitness News. Reporting live in Northeast Jackson, Daniel Miller. Live, local, and late-breaking. Live in Jackson, Mickey Goodwin, 7. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If it happens in West Tennessee, 7 Eyewitness News is there. Joining me now is Melody Mendez, who has a community reaction. West Tennessee's news channel, 7 Eyewitness News, the team you trust. I can see oh, I have to choose between love. seeing you and doing the voice? That's right.
Weeknights at 12.05 on ABC7. On the next CSI weekends. Looks execution style. It's a murder case so big. Ex-chief of detectives. CSI will travel from Vegas to Miami. In Florida? Two cities. You guys get a big one. Two CSI teams. It's a match. One killer on the run. I got a blood trail. Daddy? And one girl holds the key. She's gone. David Caruso guest stars. I got a bad feeling about this. On CSI Weekends. Saturday night at 11. Good evening, I'm Daniel Miller. Coming up tonight at 10, a local priest returns to church after allegedly being accused of sexual abuse. We'll have a story. Plus, residents turn out to take a ride on some unique, powerful motorbikes. We'll take you there. And we'll take you to a charity benefit concert to help the American Red Cross tsunami relief efforts. Rain's making a return across the area tonight. Tomorrow we'll be talking about maybe some thunderstorm chances and the potential of severe weather. I'll detail that tonight at 10. Don't miss out on these stories and more, all tonight at 10. If you like sports, you'll love Sports Extra. SX is a high-octane half-hour of non-stop local and pro hits, hoops, and highlights. Bart Parker and Keeley Fulton are the best in the game. Sunday nights at 11.05 on Sports Extra. They got game. If you have a local business, you can increase the reach and impact of your advertising dollars. Log on to WBBJTV.com and click the digital directory for complete details. Good evening, I'm Daniel Miller. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll take you to a charity benefit concert to help the American Red Cross tsunami relief efforts. Plus, Keely Fulton will be here with your sports, and Eddie will have your weather. So join us tonight at 10. Thanks for watching WBBJ, ABC7, Jackson. Your West Tennessee Lottery Station, WBBJ, Jackson. A local priest returns to church. Details at 10. at the rest of your holiday forecast tonight at 10. A local priest returns to church. Details at 10. Each year, 10,000 children are born with cerebral palsy across America. And the West Tennessee Cerebral Palsy Association asks for your help one time every year. Tune into the West Tennessee Cerebral Palsy Telethon at 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon, January 29th, right here on ABC7. All the donations are used here in West Tennessee. Please join us and help. This Sunday night, watch Desperate Housewives starting at 10.35, right after 7 Eyewitness News at 10. Then at 11.35, it's Grey's Anatomy. Don't miss your favorite shows, Desperate Housewives and Grey's Anatomy, this Sunday only, starting at 10.35 p.m. Here on ABC7. Did you know that a single hair could help catch a killer? Hair only comes out in that form when he's yanked or pulled, signifying struggle. Follow the evidence. First dead body man. And solve the mystery. Anyone who pushes one of these hands could be the killer. Of crime scene investigation. CSI Weekend. Saturday night at 11 and Sunday night at 11.05. High school hoops action coming up in sports. On the next CSI Weekend, this murder investigation is pinning CSI. Fresh blood, that helps. Against CSI. What do you want from me? I'm working the case, case five. It's my case. If you have a problem with that, you can clock on now. Cop against cop. It's not your job to take my stripes. And a trail of evidence. You still got a shooter out there. Will lead to one of them. It couldn't be. CSI Weekend. Sunday night at 11.05 on WBBJ ABC 7. Jerry Seinfeld, a successful New York stand-up comedian in New York City. He dates plenty of women, but never stays with one for very long. Jerry is often the voice of reason for the insanity caused by the people in his life. Jerry's apartment is Grand Central Station, visited by his eccentric friends, Kramer, Elaine, and George. Watch Jerry, weeknights, 5 after midnight and 12.30 a.m. on WBBJ, ABC 7. Thanks for watching WBBJ ABC7.
All over America, people are taking the national radon test. Have you? Have you heard of radon? Radon? Rad oh, radon. Is that a gas? Of course. I had it in my house. Is it something that comes up out the ground or something? Something dangerous that you're supposed to check on to make sure it's not in your home. True or false, radon is a radioactive gas. False. True. Is it true? The Office of the Surgeon General recommends all homes be tested for radon. Uh, false. False. It's true. True. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer. That's true. False. True. True. I didn't know that. Homes with radon problems can be fixed. False. It's true. Wow. So what do you do about it? I'm going to dial the number and call. 1-800-SOS-RADON. I don't even know where to go to have it checked. I'm going to call. I'm going to check into it. Yes, I'm worried. I'm seriously going to get that kiss. If I don't take care of it, nobody else will. 1-800-SOS-RADON. You see, she's a brighter sister. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> Tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 10, a tragic overnight accident claims the lives of two teenagers in McNary County. We'll have the story at 10 o'clock. And several high school teams are on the court tonight. We'll have the details at 10. And after a rainy night around West Tennessee, we have better weather coming our way as we head into Sunday. I'll have your complete forecast. I'm Ginger Trice. Join us for these stories and much more tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 10. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Sydney Bristow. Hello, Sydney Bristow. Five. You get the coach? I've got bad news for you, man. Which means me. Four. I am your worst enemy. She will destroy those. Three. I think I deserve to know what happened to the people in my life. Two. You do understand that things don't always go as expected when you're in the field. One. There's no drug like adrenaline. Alias Weekend. We never had this conversation. When the big story breaks, 7 Eyewitness News is there. McNary County budget has been the topic of discussion, while making the Bradford Police Department finally has a new chief. The largest and most experienced team of reporters in West Tennessee. The Jackson Police Department. Four suspects remain at large store. They're pretty popular among teens and young adults. From our Gibson County Bureau. Wherever it happens, whatever it takes, you'll see it first on West Tennessee's news channel, 7 Eyewitness News. Join us for worship Sunday mornings, 11 o'clock, on WDBJ Channel 7, because it's a new day at First Baptist. All new, last week, the sun. Now, the dramatic follow-up. From jail, the bank-robbing dad faces the devastated sons who turned him in. What is it you're sorry about? That's kind of a ridiculous question. What I think is ridiculous is the way you're responding to it. One-on-one -on -one with an armed bank robber. A secret life. An affair. Drugs. The betrayal. What do you want to say to your son? Next, Oprah. Weekdays at 4 on ABC7. This 19-year-old stepmom took on his three kids. Before we got married, he told me you do not have to be a mother to my children. But when she found out she'd met her match... His oldest son goes, I don't want that. That tastes like crap. I want to go to my mom's and eat. Dad tried to referee. She used to tell my daughter she was ugly. She's supposed to be the adult. She's a child. But now Judge Maybelline is calling a timeout. You don't have a clue. Right. You're 19 and don't have a clue. Right. On the next Divorce Court. Weekday mornings at 11 on ABC7. In times of peace, and times of war, in times of... Coming up on 7 Eyewitness News at 10, West Tennessee Cerebral Palsy Association prepares for its 41st annual telethon. Plus, Michaeline will be here with sports, and Nick will take a look at your weather, coming up tonight at 10. 100 years of life honored. Details at 10. Drier weather moves into the area for Sunday. Your forecast at 10. Hi, Toby Keith here. Like most of us, I love driving, but too many people die every year on America's roads. So always buckle up, slow down, drive sober, stay focused on driving. Every day, officers enforce traffic laws to keep our families safe on the road. So drive smart. And do your part to save lives. A message from the National Sheriff's Association. WBBJ! 
Red seven, blue seven. All right. Seven oh winners four. Seven oh winners four. Ready hit. There you go. That's it. That Alex, go on. We're ready for football Friday night. Are you? Download the 7 Eyewitness News app today. Sponsored by Leaders Credit Union. Follow WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News on Twitter. Download the WBBJ weather app today. Powered by the Jackson Clinic. You're watching 7 Eyewitness News on CBS. You're watching WBBJ7, your CBS for West Tennessee. When you see news happen, send a smartphone photo to news at WBBJTV.com. Call our tip hotline at 424-4515. Be a West Tennessee News Channel tipster. You're watching WBBJ7, your CBS for West Tennessee. You're watching WBBJ7, your CBS for West Tennessee. You're watching CBS 7, your CBS for West Tennessee. WBBJ TV is accepting resumes for a full-time assistant business manager. Applicants must be proficient in computer usage, have experience with using Microsoft Excel, be able to set priorities, and meet deadlines. The successful candidate must have previous accounting slash bookkeeping experience and or applicable college education. Job duties include but are not limited to accounts payable, accounts receivable, depositing checks, credit card processing, monthly and interim billing, and posting payments in our traffic system. If you think you qualify for this position, please send a resume to the address on screen or email thjones at wbbjtv.com. No phone calls, please. WBBJ TV is an equal opportunity employer. West Tennessee people are involved in extraordinary public service, often inspiring others into action. Multiplying Good recognizes individuals who use her talents to improve the quality of life for others. Successful Multiplying Good nominees receive the Jefferson Award and are honored in an annual ceremony. If there's a good neighbor in your community truly making a difference, we want to celebrate them. And locally, we are looking to you to nominate that student in action or seasoned volunteer who embodies the power of public service. WBBJ, red seven, blue seven. All right. Seven oh winners four. Seven oh winners four. Ready hit. There you go. That's it. Hey, Alex, go on. We're ready for football Friday night. Are you? that JR has a touching story. I got a random care package. Hear how he found his true love. Four years later, we got married. Tonight at 6.30 on ABC7. WBBJ and the Tennessee Education Lottery salute Tennessee teachers and educators. Each week, WBBJ will award one special teacher the Educator of the Week Award. If you would like to nominate a deserving Tennessee educator, send your email to educator at wbbjtv.com. Your favorite educator could be the statewide educator of the month, so be sure and vote. The Tennessee Lottery is proud to have raised more than $6 billion to support education programs in Tennessee. Educator of the Week, presented by the Tennessee Education Lottery and WBBJ. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News on Facebook. My gosh. We've made it. Weekdays at 9 on ABC 7. Whether in court or out, when results matter, think Boren and Boyd. With greater detection range and more detailed imagery, Storm Tracker 7 Max Radar brought to you by Garrett Plumbing and Heating Company, your local carrier dealer. Carrier, turn to the experts. Does your business or company have positions to be filled? Let WBBJ help find the perfect employee for you. Contact us and we'll let our viewers know about your opportunity. Between both of our networks and our complete suite of digital products, we can get your message to the right candidate for you. Give us a call today at 424-4515. Eight. 
Sunday mornings at 7 on ABC7. Country. News, weather, anytime at WBBJTV.com. Welcome to the Kelly Clarkson Show! Weekdays at 3 on ABC7. Watch Saturday Night Football, presented by Capital One on WBBJ ABC7. You're watching ABC7, West Tennessee's news channel. Download the WBBJ Weather app today. Powered by the Jackson Clinic. When you see news happen, send a smartphone photo to news at WBBJTV.com. Call our tip hotline at 424-4515. Be a West Tennessee News Channel tipster. You're watching ABC7, West Tennessee's News Channel. Tonight's sports brought to you by Sports Orthopedic and Spine. Lexington. Win 106.9, part of West Tennessee's News Network. We're bringing you access like nobody else. Access Hollywood. Dateline, five times a week. Late nights on ABC7. There are oceans and rocks, places where fish swim and birds fly. History is made, art is created, things happen that should always be remembered. Heroes emerge, a woman sets people free, a man makes light, a leader steps forward. It can be a place, a feeling, a state of mind. So get up, get out there, and find your part. Something more than a birthday is happening here. Once you can see it, you can help. The sooner you recognize the signs of autism, the sooner you can make a lifetime of difference for your child. Start by answering a few simple questions at screenforautism.org. This is the MeTV Network. Seen locally on WBBJ's MeTV Jackson. MeTV is memorable entertainment television.